back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Christo and today's video I'm gonna be challenging myself on going out and being by myself taking myself on a date pretty much I have a really hard time going out by myself it makes me feel uncomfortable at times I get like anxiety and I just feel like I'm more comfortable if my husband is with me Thinking about it already makes me feel like anxious just because I know what I want to do but it's just the thought of not having somebody else there with me to kind of keep me company I am excited I am nervous I am just I don't know my emotions are just kind of all over the place today because I've never done anything like this before so this is really taking me out of my comfort zone and this weekend he's actually out hunting with his family so I'm home by myself and I told myself that I'm not gonna stay home and just do nothing I've been doing that for the past few weekends and I need to learn to just get myself out of my comfort zone and be able to go places on my own and find things for myself to do so that is my goal today and I will take you guys along with me I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get going the one I'm gonna carry is just my really big gray purse because it can fit everything that I need in there because when I carry a backpack it's really inconvenient to have to swing it around grab a stuff and the backpack that I've been using it sucks in a way where it only the zipper only opens on one side so it makes it very inconvenient so um yeah i like carrying big bags because it's easier for me to fit all my junk in there cookies from my fresh basket and I decided to get a white chocolate mocha just so that I can sit by the river and just eat my cookie and enjoy some coffee so it's such a nice day today the weather feels so good it does feel weird being out by myself but I do enjoy it because then I can just make all the decisions on what I want to do picked up some sushi from Huckleberries and there were so many people in there I didn't even want to film because I just wanted to get my food and get out of there I'm probably gonna walk around first and then I'll come back and eat I think that will probably be the best idea so I can kind of get the footages that I want so I just need to figure out how I am going to carry everything I've noticed how without my husband it is definitely a lot harder definitely a lot more time consuming like I have to do everything very very slow um let's see 
I'm gonna get myself situated. actually a lot of people here more than I thought but it's so pretty here and this house literally has the most beautiful lanes and super yellow so I'm just walking around the park I've never been here by myself I always come with family and yeah but it feels really nice to be here alone and just really enjoy the place and I'm walking to places I never actually walked through before so it's really nice and I'm gonna eat later. I don't want to eat yet because I've been eat, drinking a lot of stuff. of people here today so it doesn't make me feel that scared because this park is a little bit out of nowhere and yeah there's actually a lot of people here a lot of family photos and I really wish my husband was here just to see the fall colors because I've never actually been here during the fall so it's really nice and I'm just sitting on the bench like people watching like a total creep <laughs> This is my very first time actually being at this park by myself. This park holds a lot of childhood memories. When I was little, my parents would always bring us here and just let me and my siblings run wild. And there's apples here, so we call it Park Apple. We would always come and pick apples here. So this park holds a lot of special memories and it's one of my favorite parks in my hometown and I will always come here. I hope to bring my kids one day and oh, I'm so out of breath. I don't even know why but it's so beautiful here. Set my world on fire 
finally home after a long day. I want to talk to you guys about my experience. Sorry if I have a sniffle and I apologize if I sound really stuffy. I've been running around all day today. I feel like I just can't catch my breath. So excuse me. It's really hard for me to go out and do things by myself. My husband is always with me and we're like best friends so it doesn't matter if it's just like running errands or going to the grocery store to grab something we really enjoy going places together i'm so used to always having him with me that when i don't it's hard for me to go and do things for myself so this was a bit of a challenge but i'm so glad i did it because i just proved to myself that i could be alone and i can go out and do things and and even in my own town i still use a gps just because it's different when you're in the passenger seat and you're not the one driving because you don't have to pay attention as much. But yeah, I successfully drove myself around today through downtown. I mean, it wasn't exactly downtown. It was like the outskirts of it up to the South Hill. And y'all know, if you know, I don't ever go anywhere like that by myself. It's a big accomplishment for me and I'm really proud of myself. I can't wait to share that to my husband when he gets home. I'm so happy I did this. I encourage you to go out and do this as well. I mean, you don't have to go to a lot of places. Just go and do something and just be alone and be comfortable with yourself. I just went to places that I knew I could at least spend some time there versus having to just constantly bounce from place to place. And I'm definitely gonna do this again only when my husband's not home. <laughs> Because if he was home, then I'd take his ass with me. I feel so exhausted after a long day. i just been up and running around, and now I can finally relax and just enjoy my evening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for going on this date with me. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that so that that way you could be notified every single time when I upload a new video on my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.